guys, only me again. So I have some very important news for you. I have just found out that this week just gone was National Curry Week. Who didn't think to tell me? So as it ends today, which is Sunday the 28th of October, I have decided I'm going to make naan breads tonight. So we're going to give that a go. Uh, again, recipe, ingredients, everything is in the description. As usual, wash your hands, warm soapy water. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have our ingredients. We have 250 grams of plain flour. We have 120 ml of milk. Down here, we have doo -doo 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 -doo, two teaspoons of sugar, which is that one over there. We have half a teaspoon of salt, ah, there, and half a teaspoon of baking powder all ready to go now for this recipe you need to get the grill on and it says to preheat to a medium heat so i haven't done that yet but i will do shortly okay we're ready to go let's get started so first things first we've got our 250 grams of our plain flour here which i've already sifted into the bowl for you we've then got our sugar salt and baking powder which again needs to be just sifted into the bowl so i'll shovel them in my sieve and get them in quick just use a spoon if you've got any little bobbly bits that are left in the bottom of the sieve get those in quick right there we go right now in another bowl jug whichever you prefer I'll go with the bowl because I've got one. There we go. We need to mix our milk and our oil. Oh, I forgot to put the oil in the ingredients thing, didn't I? Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. So, milk, mix it with your oil. So, we need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So, we now want to mix our two tablespoons of vegetable oil. One. Ooh, look at that, just enough in with our milk. Just give it a little mix, and that's done. Right now, what we want to do is we want to make a well in the center of the flour, so like so, just like a little hole look in the center, and then we want to pour in our liquid so our milk and our oil into the center just like so Ooh. i'm gonna do it a bit of time now what you need to do is you need to start incorporating the flour into the well from the sides working inwards pull the rest of it in now look working it inwards from the side. Okay, until obviously all the flour has been incorporated with the liquid. It should start to make a dough-like consistency. is the point that Mrs M here absolutely loves. You can get your fingers in. Right. Here we go. As you can see from my fingers it is quite a sticky consistency so you will need some flour just to dust your surface with which 
common sense would told me probably should have put it on first but it's okay because I can just sprinkle a bit on like this look just a little bit just move it around a bit there right so what we now want to do is we want to knead our dough So for you guys that haven't done kneading before, it's basically pushing and bringing back, pushing and bringing back, pushing, bringing back. And when you push, use the palm, base of the palm of your hand like that, push it away, bring it back, bringing it all together again, push away, bring it back. Okay, and you want to do this for a good eight to ten minutes, push away, bring it back push bring back so keep doing it this is a good time if you're feeling a little stressed a little bit angry maybe you've had a bit of a morning with the kids something's gone wrong at work this is a good time to take your anger out because well it's on dough and at the end of it you can eat what you've made so that's not a bad thing but yeah, keep kneading it, bringing it back, kneading it and bringing it back. So I'm going to carry on kneading this for a good 8 to 10 minutes. And as so not to bore you, I will come back to you shortly with my finished dough. Oh, and before I do that, once you have finished kneading it for your 8 to 10 minutes, you need to lightly oil a bowl and you want to stick this dough in a bowl, in the lightly oiled bowl and cover it with a damp tea towel leaving it out, it doesn't need to go in the fridge, just out on the side and you want to leave that for a good 10-15 minutes Ooh, just in the oiled bowl, okay? so there we go, I'm going to carry on kneading and I'll come back to you shortly okay so our naan bread dough has been resting underneath our damp tea towel for 15 minutes now so now what we need to do, we are going to lightly flour the surface again, as before. Then we want to split this dough into five. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, two. We'll do two first. half again this one's a bit bigger so we'll make three there we go so we split it into five you want to roll into your hands just them into a ball shaped like so and while you're working with one you can just put the others back in the bowl Right, so you now want to roll these out reasonably thin and you want them, this is just for the look really, but you want them in, if you can, a tear kind of shape. moving them around so they don't stick and also flowering your rolling pin again right now this is also the time where you can flavour it I'm just literally going to sprinkle just some mixed herbs over so you want to just sprinkle it over a little bit and then push it into your dough just give it a push in just like so and then 
So you want to do the same. You go five of your balls. Now obviously in the background, you can hear my cooker wearing. So that's the grill. And as I mentioned before, you want that preheated to a medium heat. And I've got a baking tray in there. ready to stick these on when they're done and then they'll each take one to two minutes each and that's about it so again roll it thin sprinkle with your herbs push them in one more to show you and overlook again like I said if it's not a tear shape I really wouldn't worry it's just for the look of it right again sprinkle with your herbs then you want to get your really hot baking tray from under the grill just want to place them on your baking tray. Now I'm just going to put two on and then like I said back under the grill one to two minutes and I'll check back in with you shortly. And there you have it under the grill my arm breads now for 100 percent honest they could have puffed up a bit more they do have a few air pockets as you can see but they do look more like flatbreads to me but i think the reason for this could have been the fact that my grill wasn't hot enough the thing about naan breads to make them really puffy is they need intense heat for a short amount of time so i'm thinking my grill needed to be a bit hotter don't you think but hey we tried Gave it a go. I think they look okay. I'd still eat them. So would my kids. And hey, give it another go next time. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please leave any comments you've got. Positive or negative. I'm sure we can take them both. And don't forget to subscribe. Look forward to seeing you for the next recipe.